Famous Autopsies Part 51, Tristan Bailey Trigger Warning. This case in particular has really gotten to me because she was so damn young. On Mother's Day of last year, 13-year-old Tristan crossed paths with a 14-year-old monster. He had previously confided in his girlfriend that he would one day kill somebody and that he heard voices that told him to do horrible things. When police explained that the young girl was dead and he was the last one to be seen with her, he retorted, how is that my problem? Video surveillance showed the pair walking, so he changed his story claiming that he kissed her, she shoved him away, he shoved her down and walked away, but that is far from the truth. I'm sure she did rebuff his advances if he made any, but Tristan's injuries were fast and not caused by a fall. This is a distinct case of overkill. On her ankle, written in blue ink, was the word karma with a smiley face beneath it. Tristan fought like hell, sustaining 49 defensive stab wounds to her hands and arms. She was found in a wooded area near a pond, exactly where the footage of the pair walking showed them heading. Aiden told a friend a month prior that he would one day drag someone into the woods and stab them to death. In total, she sustained 114 stab wounds to her neck, hands, arms, chest, and abdomen. She was left with an imprint of a hand on her thigh that was not her own. He went so mad and exerted such rage and strength that he broke the blade of his knife, which was later pulled from the nearby body of water. It was likely at that point that the attack ended and he left her to die. Several vital organs were injured during the attack, but what ultimately killed her was hypovolemic shock from exsanguination or basically from severe blood loss. 